Villa sports news recently, so for some thoughtful, nuanced debate, we turn to sports war. Get ready to go back. It's time for sports war. Brought to you by Denver. Denver. God wants you to do it. And I'm Jordan Klepper. This is Sports War, the show where we are legally not allowed to agree with each other. <laughs> For example, if I say Ronnie Chang doesn't suck... Oh, well, then I have to disagree with you on that, Jordan. Everybody knows I'm a bad son and a selfish lover. Yes. <laughs> you left out that you're also rude to service workers. Let's start with the biggest story in sports, the shove heard round the world. This physical moment involving the WNBA's most high-profile rookie raising questions. Unnecessary. Chicago's Kennedy Carter shoulder-checking the Fever's Caitlin Clark, knocking her to the ground. Oh! Oh! oh. Throw the flag, send her to the hay, come on! Caitlin Clark is clearly getting bullied. I'm sick of it. You can't just push people in sports. Unless it's football, hockey, dude basketball, the Little League World Series, or being drunk dad at the Little League World Series. Well, I hope one of those dads shoves you into traffic, Jordan, because you couldn't be more wrong. As a lifelong WNBA fan, since Caitlin Clark joined the league a few weeks ago, I can say with absolute certainty that that shove was barely a foul. Hey, the WNBA needs to get harder if they want me, their target demographic, to keep watching, okay? <laughs> You hear that, WNBA? Just because you don't have a penis doesn't mean you can't get hard. Just ask Jordan. Are you saying my penis is soft or non-existent? Whichever hurts your feelings more. <laughs> Joke's on you, Ronnie. I'm dead inside. Look. I relate to Caitlin Clark, a superstar at the top of her game, surrounded by jealous peers. Caitlin, I see you. I am you. And we're not going to let bottom feeders like Ronnie Chang push us around. <laughs> Which brings us to tonight's Jay Kleps Can't Lose Bet of the Week. What's the source of Ronnie Chang's crippling inferiority complex? Brought to you by gambling. Gambling. You can only lose if you stop. Okay, moving on from the greatest women's basketball player to the greatest men's basketball player's son. Bronny James, the son of NBA superstar LeBron James, will remain in the NBA draft. His agent confirmed his decision today. James will forego his college eligibility after playing one season with USC. LeBron and Bronny James could be the first father and son duo to play at the same time in the NBA. He's projected to be a second round pick primarily because his father is LeBron James. Yo, Bronny should not enter the NBA at all, okay? There's zero chance he can live up to his legacy of his father. Go do something else, like being a tall dentist, or a tall architect, <laughs> or a medium-sized, world's tallest man. <laughs> Quit while you're not ahead. Oh, yeah, that's good advice, Bronny. You should take it. Of course, Bronny should join the NBA. The children of great people are always great themselves. Don Jr., RFK Jr., <laughs> Carl's Jr., all great men. The only pressure here is on LeBron. If his sperm can't produce a 12-time NBA All-Star who reinvigorates the Space Jam franchise, LeBron is overrated. Overrated? Uh, that's just what your mom said to me last night. <laughs> so you made, you made love to my mother poorly? Like I said, Jordan, I'm a selfish lover. Which brings us to Ronnie's slam dunk bet of the night. Who will be a greater disappointment to their father, Ronnie James or Jordan Klepper? As always, brought to you by gambling. Gambling is like taking candy from a baby, but the candy is money. Finally, we turn to the shocking retirement of a sports legend. Well, he has won the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest six times, but Takeru Kobayashi is retiring from competitive eating. He says he has health concerns now he needs to tend to. He's 46 years old and says decades of overeating has left him with no appetite or sensation of fullness. Oh, holy shit! This guy can't tell when he's hungry or full. It sounds like his stomach just pulled a Jerry Maguire on him. Just grabbed the goldfish, said adios to the kidney, and walked right out. 
Does not sound like it was worth it. <laughs> this was absolutely worth it, okay, oh, Jordan? He no, got to eat no. tons of hot dogs, and now he has no appetite. It's like Frio Zempic, okay? <laughs> Kobayashi's a legend, not to mention he's Asian. Shout out, Asian Asians. Asian That's right. I've only gotten to use that like four times in my life. And shame on you, Jordan, for not supporting the work of one of our greatest Asian athletes. Hey, hey, you are wrong. You're wrong, Ronnie. I fully support his decision to step away from the game. Which brings us to our double down, better than night. Which Asian that hosts this program will retire next? <laughs> Brought to you by Gambling. Have you lost the ability to experience sensation? Try Gambling. See how worse it can get. Well, we are out of time. Well, I'm not retired. Well, it's too late. The fans have spoken, Roddy. Join us next time on Sports War. We'll be debating pickleball. Better with guns? No, no. I think it is. I, I do. But you got it. When you want to look. Look the country you do the best.